On August 24, 1944, 1st Lieutenant William R. Preddy, a member of the 503rd Fighter Squadron, embarked on a test flight in his P-51D Mustang affectionately called Rusty. This P-51 had a unique backstory as it was assembled from various scrapped Mustangs, and its old engine had always presented problems. However, recently it received a much-needed upgrade in the form of a new 1615 Merlin engine. William took off from Falmer, Cambridgeshire and initiated a steep climb at the high throttle to break in the new engine. Reaching an altitude of 10,000 feet, he was pleased with the enhanced performance. But his flight took an unexpected turn when he received word over the radio that incoming aircraft were approaching the base. It was unusual to witness German aircraft attacking at such an early hour. Curious and uncertain about the threat, First Lieutenant William decided to conduct a reconnaissance mission. Climbing to 15,000 feet, he searched the skies but found nothing initially. He radioed the ground to confirm, but then just off the coast, he spotted a peculiar sight, a Heinkel 111 bomber with a thick smoke trail, flying in a wide circle pattern. Approaching the ailing Heinkel, William noticed the bomber's tail section was on fire. He informed the base that it was just a lone Heinkel 111, but to his surprise, he was ordered to shoot it down immediately. Being a pilot with a strong sense of chivalry and honor, he hesitated. Despite the direct orders, he couldn't bring himself to fire upon a defenseless crew. Instead, First Lieutenant William flew above the Heinkel to signal them to turn around. The German bomber seemed to be struggling, and its young pilot was visibly panicking as he fought with the controls. William could see that the situation was dire, and the Heinkel was in no condition to engage in a fight. With immense effort, the German pilot managed to partially turn the bomber around, heading towards France. William realized they couldn't keep this up for long, and as he approached the cockpit, both pilots exchanged a salute as a sign of mutual respect. William provided a slipstream of air to assist the Heinkel in getting away from the English coast. Eventually, the damaged bomber crashed into the North Sea. Uncertain about survivors, William flew by the crash site, dropping emergency rations and life jackets, and reported the successful downing of the Heinkel. Unfortunately, William's story only came to light a year later after his tragic death on April 17, 1945. During his final mission, he chased German Mi-262 jet fighters with his P-51 Mustang Rusty. The pursuit led him 75 miles south of Prague, but his commanding officer's plane exploded, and William was critically wounded as his own Mustang suffered severe damage. He managed to crash land in a Czech village called Lucy, where he was rescued by a young Czech woman named Jana. Despite her efforts to find medical help, William passed away. His diary uncovered the true account of the events on August 24, 1944, highlighting his refusal to shoot down the crippled Heinkel due to his gallantry and chivalry. William's actions were later commemorated with a marker in check, immortalizing his act of bravery. For his service and courage, First Lieutenant William received several honors, including an air medal with three oak leaf clusters, the American Campaign Medal, a Purple Heart, a World War II Victory Medal, and a European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal with three bronze stars. His legacy and heroism remain a testament to the values of honor and humanity in the face of war.